Okay, guys, this is part one to what if Deku was a part of the Star Clan. Now, before I get any further, a couple days ago, on my community uh, po or on the community tab for my channel, I posted something saying for you guys to give me some suggestions. I don't know how many of you guys saw it. At least over 30. I'm pretty sure last time I checked, there were about 35 comments saying like. Oh, can you do this and this? I want you guys to either go over there or just in the comments on th on this video to give me some suggestions. The ones on the tab I've already seen, but I want more so I have a bigger variety. After a day or two of this being posted, I will pick the top four and I well my top four that I like the most. And if it's, like, if I don't pick yours, I'm sorry, but, like, for some of them, you may like them more, some of them I might not know anything about it. But, yeah, but I'll pick the top four that I feel are both, like, powerful, but not to the point to where Deku's gonna beat everyone with ease like I normally do. I would try and do script, but I don't feel like that. I am doing a script, not for me, but for two other YouTubers. It's taken a while, I haven't worked on it in, like... Probably a week because of school and all that, but I'm gonna start working on it when I get some free time, which is almost all of like the next two weeks because school's out for about two weeks now. But when that does come out, I'll tell you guys when to go check it out. It'll be my first time writing script, so you guys tell me what you like about it, and I don't like it. I, I don't like doing script, it takes too long, it's boring, but anyway. I just hurt my shoulder again. If I start sounding like I'm in pain, it's probably because my shoulders or any of my bones keep popping and I need to see a doctor about it. Anyway, Star Clan. As you can see, we have Black Star here. Not trying to be racist, that's his literal name. His name is Black Star. He is part of the Star Clan from Soul Eater. The Star Clan was a vicious clan of murderers, assassins, thieves, whatever you want to call them. They were just very powerful people, but were killed off, I believe, by either Sid, the zombie guy, and Soul Eater, or Death himself. Now, Black Star is the last remaining, like, Star Clan person, but we have been introduced to another clan that is very close to the Star Clan, apparently, but, you know, aren't murderers or anything. They Some of them do have the star marks or anything. Just somewhere on their body, they're going to have a star mark. See, Black Star has his, uh, you know, there. That's why they call the Star Clan. You know, they're part of the Star Clan if they have a star on their body somewhere. Now, all of the Star Clan members have to have a name. And their first name has to begin with, basically... A color. The first name just has to be a color. And the last name has to be Star. That's why it's called the Star Clan. So, what do you guys think Deku's name should be? Like, what color? So, in this, <coughs> Deku's not going to know his clan. He's not going to know anything about them. He's going to be an orphan at that. His mother is still Inko. But, she is killed. Yes. She was killed when Deku was only a couple months old. The Star Clan are very powerful people. Those without quirks are feared more than those with quirks. Because those without quirks, they're very physically strong. And those with quirks are even more destructive, but aren't as feared. Because you may, like, you could fear someone with a quirk, but... If someone without a quirk can do just as much damage than someone with a quirk, who are you going to fear more? I, I would fear the person that is just as strong without a quirk. Because you got to realize, what the hell do they do to get that strong? But either way, Inko was killed because she may have not been a part of the Star Clan, but she was married to a Star Clan member, Deku's dad. 
When this, I'm not going to name a quirk. You can either just say it's the same quirk as in the anime. But I don't really... Uh, I don't feel like giving Deku's dad an actual quirk. At least not now. But all the Star Clans have very powerful quirks. But that's why they were being killed off. By All for One. Yes, All for One. All for One is killing them off after taking their quirks. Now, a lot of them have gone, in, gone into hiding. A lot of them have basically moved to other countries. Deku thought, or Deku's dad thought he was safe in uh, Japan. But little did he know, one awful one was there, so yeah. Now we skip. You know, he... I'm not sure if I'm going to have him dead or not, but... We're going to say he's not. He's not dead. But we skip to, basically, you know, we skip to when Deku is about five. The people of the orphanage don't really know what his quirk is. And as a kid, they thought, like, oh, he had a... A lot of people thought when they came to see him that he had a tattoo on his chest. Right above his heart. That's what... That's where Deku's star birthmark, basically, I'm just going to refer to it as a birthmark. That's where Deku's birthmark will be, above his chest. Right up, well, on his chest, right above his heart. They explain that he was born with that. They think it's just pretty weird. Uh, I died. They say it's a pretty weird birthmark, but he was born with it. So Deku never really got, like, adopted, but we skip. Deku is always seen as quirkless because he can't figure out what his quirk is. Doctors can't, he can't, no one can figure out what his quirk is. So they all just say he's quirkless. Now, Deku's going to have a similar personality to in canon, except he's going to be a lot darker. He's going to know what it's like to basically have nothing and then continuously lose more and more he as a person knew that most people who would adopt would adopt kids who are probably eight and younger but Deku never got adopted he never did as he got older no one wanted him mainly because of all the training he did Deku, since he could never figure out what his quirk was, decided that he doesn't care if he can't, if he doesn't have a quirk or just can't find out what it is. He's going to train as much as possible. Now, instead of being super bulky like All Might or Endeavor, Deku's going to have quite a lean physique. Now, Deku is going to, you know, go. And, let's say, he could easily hold 100% of one for all, but I'm not giving him one for all. I'll give you guys, in the next part, after I decide, a couple of people who should get one for all. Y'all guys will decide down in my community tab. Because that's where I will put it. Expect after this video uploads, that will be up there. So yeah, but anyway, we skipped to when Deku was 15, he did go to regular school, not the school that Baku went to, but another one, he was still made fun of for not having a cork, but those people who made fun of him would always end up going to the hospital, because each time they fought, Deku destroyed them. Deku is a master martial artist, and he is also very good with weapons. Deku works... Like, he has his own job. Once he could get a job, he got his own job. And it's basically, like, he just left the orphanage. He just up and left. But he basically went and started working for a, let's say, a moving company. Yes, the people that have to move heavy boxes and stuff, even a warehouse the warehouse and the moving company are part of the same company. They're just 
there are two smaller companies under one big company. Now, Deku works as a basically just deliverer. While one person drives, he just picks up the stuff and moves it. Now, they needed someone with super strength because the stuff was pretty heavy, but, you know, they couldn't get anyone with super strength, but when they saw Deku to see how they, like, they needed someone, so they just took Deku. So, they basically say, just make sure this person doesn't hurt himself. Deku never hurt himself. He, he was able to do the stuff with these. And they were hoping someone with super strength because, well, it would be easier, they could go quicker, but they're like, no one with super strength in their right mind would do this for a job, but Deku went around. He was able to lift the stuff, which, the boxes, uh, some couches, because it is a moving company, just these really odd-shaped objects would be strongman training. And if you guys don't know what strongman training is, or it doesn't even just have to be strongman training, it's just strong man like workouts. Basically, the world's strongest men. Uh, I think it's Brian Shaw. Uh, I think he's the strongest in some of the things. Uh, it's been a while since I look like since I've looked at their names. Eddie something and Nick something. I forget the last names, but and there's one more guy, the fourth one. Uh. Come on, come on. I don't want to forget any of the names, but I just have bad memory. You guys know this. But basically, they are the world's four strongest men. And they do strongman training, which is basically, you lift very weirdly shaped things that are just heavy. A good, like, strongman training that some of them do is, I forget what it's called. It's like a, probably called, like, the Atlas Lift or whatever. It's just this really big, heavy sphere that they have to lift onto something that's pretty high up but yeah they do that or they have to i think it's called the shield carry they have to carry a very weird like weirdly shaped object that is really heavy i believe that is nick's like thing he's in or is it something to do with the legs it's been a while since i checked it out guys but basically deku would do a lot of that what he does in canon, I believe, like what Deku does for the, uh, you know, the beach training, cleaning up the beach, that's considered strongman training, I believe. So yeah, picking up all those things in the, like, you know, on the beach, it's strongman training. But Deku would do this. Now, we skip, and when Deku's 15, he gets up in the company very quickly he is a manager and only since you know he still has to go to school he only does part-time but he spends most of its most of his time working from home which he lives in a small apartment but basically for the manager stuff he just works from home which isn't considered part of his hours but what he does to make sure he still gets a lot of money to like buy the stuff he needs is he does a lot more like lifting he does, he still does that. Now, even the adults who, you know, do have quirks, but some of them don't involve strength or anything like that, are surprised by Deku's just pure, raw strength. And they ask him about his quirk, he says he doesn't have a quirk. Now, Deku would be very good with weapons, if I haven't mentioned it. So, Deku would have, and he eat a lot. One thing he'd eat a lot is rice, of course. Rice and I think fish would be his top thing for food because rice would fill him up, but you can also make it taste good without it being super unhealthy. But fish would also have a lot of protein while you can also make that taste good depending on what fish it is, what you season it with, how you cook it, because some fish just taste awful, just naturally. Like, literally, it tastes awful. Some of them forget what it was, but, ugh. Like, we cooked that thing properly, too. Made sure. And after I looked it up, it was said that, you know, this thing is most likely going to taste horrible, but it does have a high amount of protein. But basically, he would eat a lot of that. Now, he would also grow small, like, things, like, basically... 
for his apartment. He, it's somewhat like a, uh, what was it, courtyard, basically. They have a small courtyard. And Deku has a small little balcony that he can look into the courtyard. But on that balcony, he has little pots on the rails, like little potted plants. And those contain little, like, basil leaves and stuff like that. Basically seasons and other plants. So he wouldn't have to waste as much money on food. Besides, he mostly buys in bulk, so he doesn't have to like, continually go. And he only gets what he needs. He has like a laptop, like one chair for his like living room, a small little like full foldable table, so he just eats at. Like Deku's house, you would think it'd be the house of a middle-aged man who just got out of a divorce. But Deku doesn't really care what it looks like. He's making sure. He has enough money to do what he needs to do. So, he runs the company and is getting, I think it's like every six months, he gets a raise, but it's only like 50 cents. But yeah, he gets a six, uh, he's been working there for a bit. He gets a lot of money. And he works there like full time when like school's out. Like, how about this? He does a lot of his work overtime he does a lot of overtime and gets paid for it they say you know you shouldn't be working this much since he's that young but he doesn't really care <laughs> but we skip to the sludge zone attack now that would happen differently you know all might would just get the sludge zone because no one would be attacked by it but the thing is like again you may think oh mirio is going to get one for all but after seeing mirio I think All Might would say that he's still going to look just in case there's no one else. Because Mirio is already close to being the number one hero. Even still, you know, being a kid and still being in UA. He's very close to being the number one hero. More than even some pros. So, you know, they All Might decides to look for some other people. But the 10 months of training, I think Deku would basically see the beach and he's going to go ahead and be like that's disgusting I'll go ahead and clean this place up and he would clean it up so you may think oh All Might would notice this yes he would notice this but he thinks Deku has a super strength quirk that's why he's able to lift all this so he's like it's gonna he says via super strength he's already gonna be able to hit really hard but he's like you know, I don't know this person, and he doesn't look like hero material. But Deku does look older than what he is, and he's like, he's looking for a student that will be a hero, especially someone that's going to UA. So he's like, this guy, it doesn't look like he's going to UA, and he doesn't look young enough to attend a hero school. Deku would clean the beach, and a lot of the materials, I think he would just send to the junkyard. Like, he just basically... Uh, carry a lot of them to the junkyard or to like a recycling place but I know the junkyard where I live if you bring like just metal depending on what, like what type you can get a tiny amount of money so I think that's what Deku would do just so you know this stuff doesn't go to waste and just doesn't get burned I think he would just send it to the junkyard but he would get the money from it. Now, you may be wondering, like, how does he get into the junkyard? He would actually get a license to drive a truck. Because, you know, that's the only way he'd be able to get to school, so he'd be able to get a license. Where I live, you can get a license if you're about 15, I believe. You may be thinking, oh no, you can only get learner's permit. Well, yes, you can get your learner's permit, but I think this is still an active, like, law. Like, if it's your only way of getting around, like, there's no other way for you to get around, like, to school, then you can get a, you know, thing. So, to get to school and home, yeah. And Deku planned the route so he can still, like, drop stuff off, go to the beach, and head home after, like, dropping stuff off at the, you know, junkyard, boom. He did that. 
He's technically still doing what he needs to do, but he's not going anywhere he doesn't need to go. So yeah, now he does that, and I'm going to say he finds a... Now the truck he uses is more of like a work truck. He doesn't own it, so they just lend it to him because, you know, he does a lot of work, so they're like, might as well just give the guy the truck so he learns how to drive it properly so he does know how to do it and he does drive here and there for the company so yeah but I think he would find a old motorcycle now well not old but like just a motorcycle that was thrown down and Deku didn't know like what was going on or like he didn't like think about it at first, but once he saw it, he's like, this is in pretty good condition, now, I haven't decided what type of motorcycle I'm going to give him, if you guys, like, want to pick one for Deku, then go ahead and get one, like, pick one, and I might decide, but yeah, but basically, Deku is going to go, he's going to get it fixed up, and the apartments where Deku lives, it's pretty nice, like, they're somewhat nice, somewhat small, though, but the parking where they have is basically reserved parking. Each person, when they get an apartment, also buys a parking spot with the place. So they have, like, reserved parking for the area. So, Deku has his own parking space, but he never used it. So, I think he would just use it for... You know, the, uh, what's it called? I think he just used it for his motorcycle. And at first, people were like, is someone, like, taking his parking spot? But when they realized, no, that's actually his, and he would be working on the motorcycle trying to fix it, I think the only thing that would be messed up would probably be the back tire along with a clog and the engine for gas to get through properly, like there's something clogging it. It looks like someone basically flooded this thing with... What was not gasoline or water. Basically, after taking it apart and rinsing the thing out properly, cleaning it, making sure he doesn't do anything wrong, he notices one thing. Someone put sugar in it. Sugar. Now, if you guys don't know, basically, from what I believe, sugar's not going to mess up the thing completely. Like, basically, won't be able to start your car. That's really it. So, he put, like, basically, he cleans out, tries to get as much sugar out as possible, and once he starts to get it running, it runs perfectly fine. And now he has another way of getting to school, and he can leave that truck, basically, back at work, and he can just use the motorcycle. So, he only uses the truck to, you know, do that. So, Deku has another way of getting around. Now, I'm going to say Deku is a bit older, like he's actually 15 when the anime starts, but I believe he's 16 after the 10 months, or am I crazy? I'm probably just crazy, but yeah. But basically, I'm going to say that Deku is 16 on the day of the entrance exam, which now allows him to drive whenever he wants. So basically, he has his little motorcycle, and he goes, you know, he does whatever. Now, he gets there. The reason, like, you may be thinking, like, why is he 16? Deku started school very late. Like, they were hoping that, you know, he would, you know, get adopted. But once they realized he wasn't going to get adopted for a while, they were like, we need to go ahead and put him in school. But he was already, like, he was older than most of the people in his class. And they knew this, they, they would make fun of him because they thought he failed. But the teacher would always bring it out, no, he just started school late. Because, you know, of life. Like, there were some issues with him growing up. Basically, he grew up in an orphanage. And only a couple of people knew this. And they would wonder, like, some people, once they, like, the bullies figured out that he, that he was in the orphanage, they, they would make fun of him saying, oh, his family put him in there. Once they realized he didn't have a quirk. They were hoping he could have a quirk, so they just threw him out, because he didn't. And the teacher would say that was uncalled, uncalled full, but the mo- yeah, 
uncalled for. The moment that guy is alone, Deku beats the shit out of him. Just boom, dead. Well, not dead, but just in the hospital for a while. And the guy thinks that Deku does have a quirk. He just doesn't like showing it off. But we skip to the entrance exam. Now, what Deku would do is he'd find a place that's a bit off from, you know, UA. But it have those little like parking meters. And Deku would get, you know, he'd put in probably like enough money in the parking meter to have his bike sit there for about a couple hours. I should mention, he got the light, like the license plate. He got that rechecked. Like he got a new license plate for it. He got that thing, some insurance. He got that. He basically said he found it the way it was and just got it re. He could fix it up and he basically made it to where if the owner of it found it, it technically didn't belong to the owner since they dumped it. And Deku said, you know, he was cleaning up a beach and he just saw this thing dumped with a bunch of garbage. So that's how he got it because they would know he didn't buy it. And. De Deku would show pictures of the beach before and after when he found the bike. And, you know, I think it would come up that the person, once they saw, like, their bike, how do I put this? Like, let's say they saw that, let's say they worked at, just at, you know, the place that Deku put his bike in front of, so that person worked there, it's a guy, he is, let's say, a chef, he's a chef, now, he is trying to see, like, like, is this his actual bike, he was checking to see if there's some stuff there, and let's say there's one thing that can tell it apart, a little engraving on the bottom of the seat, this guy, just to make sure if his bike ever got stolen, put engraving, like, put a little engraving on the bottom of the seat, which Deku noticed, but just didn't care, but, you know, Deku would already have left, and the guy would basically call the cops, because he would report the bike stolen, or stolen, but, you know, he'd report it stolen, and when they come over to where he is, he explains that, you know, a while back, his bike was stolen, and this is it. They would explain, like, how does he know? He would say that he still has, like, the old insurance papers, which he probably just wouldn't throw it away. He'd just have it. Because he's the type of person to say, oh, he'd fix it later, or do this thing later, but never does it. So he was, he was basically going to try and fix it, but never would. So, yeah. But they would wait for Deku to come back. But meanwhile, Deku is already at UA, He's taking the tests, or, you know, the theory tests, or exam, or whatever you want to call it. He does pretty well. He gets, I think, top three, because he didn't feel like trying that much. He is pretty smart, but when we get to the actual, you know, uh, practical test, Deku doesn't have any of his weapons on him, which you wish he did have, because I'd make this a lot easier. But we skip, and he's in a, I guess something similar to uh, what Blackstar is wearing here. He'd have his, basically, he, had a, he would have, I believe, pants on with little, like, knee, basically knee pads, but they'd be built into his pants to protect them. A sleeveless shirt. So yeah, basically similar to what Blackstar is wearing, and he'd be wearing this, and people are like, that's a pretty weird thing, but they don't really care. And when Mike says, three, two, one, go, Deku runs off. Now, Deku is able to keep up with Ida. If you don't know, Blackstar in the anime, I should mention, the anime and the manga are completely different, like, for some reason the anime took it a whole nother route. For, like, I only remember the anime, I don't remember much about the manga, but basically, the, what was it called, the, uh, what was it called, the manga, I don't, I, at least I don't remember if it did the 
Kishin arc, if you don't know the Kishin, 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 basically the Kishin is a very powerful, basically, monster that was human, but was turned into basically, you know, a monster after a while, but basically, uh, the anime went with the Kishin, but apparently, like, the, the manga went with something having to deal with the moon, <laughs> like, they had to go to the moon and all, it was really weird. I don't remember most of it or any of it, but basically, Black Star in the anime, a good example of his like strength, was able to make a lot of after images because how fast he was able to move. So yeah, and in the manga, he was able to catch basically a laser, like some people on the moon, like a basically a guard or whatever, started the defense mechanism, defense mechanism, which shot a bunch of lasers at them. Which Black Star basically caught one and threw it back. Now, they never gave you an actual like definite like a explanation on how he did it. But he, when he was asked how he did that, he does his normal because I'm awesome. That's basically what he said. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he said, or something close to that. But anyway, Deku would go and he's able to keep up with Ida's speed. He's not even going full speed, and he looks like he's jogging. When he gets to the first robot, he punches right through the metal. Now, Deku is very good at pain. All the workouts he's done and, you know, using the weapons, he would hurt himself a lot. Especially having a sore body all the time. Having a sore body, there we go. And, yeah, he would be in pain a lot from all the training. And, yeah, I just think training and you know, taking martial art classes, all the fighting he'd do, he'd be, he'd be used to pain. It's less of, like, what his body can handle, and more of what his mind can handle. So if his, so he's basically forced himself to feel barely any pain. So, he punches right through it, and it explodes, burning him, as he quickly just wraps it up with Let's say that he has cloth around his uh, body, like, you know, where that little belt is. He has, like, cloth on it. Basically, they're bandages, and he wraps his hands in them to make sure they don't get burned again. And they were immediately going to have Recovery Girl come out there and heal him, but Deku immediately ran off and just continued to take robot after robot down. Now... Deku's speed won't be fast enough to, you know, make after images, but he's going to have intense speed. I mean, intense. <sighs> Give me a second. Sorry, guys. But, uh, first time recording in a while. Brother has to come out and mess with me. Anyway. So, like I was saying, Deku would just be going around destroying robot after robot, and he wouldn't care how much damage he does to his body. It's how much damage and pain his mind can handle. If his mind is strong enough to withstand it, he will continue to go. Mind over matter is what Deku believes. So he just destroys robot after robot. Now, some of the teachers are confused on what his quirk is. They thought it was like a speed or enhancement or something. But when they look at his record, it would say, like, what he's, like, basically his record says, quirkless. But it says, like, skills, because, you know, some of them, I guess, he would have to make up for this, since he doesn't have a quirk, he didn't even know how to fight good. He'd say, quirkless, but is a master martial artist. This would basically be, like, how, what training they've had. So it'd basically be master martial artist. Uh, he know he's a master of martial arts. He has a, a lot of strength training. He has superhuman levels of strength, even with that small figure. He is a weapon specialist. He's very good with weapons. So, they're looking at this and like, this guy doesn't even have a quirk and he's doing better than some of the people with quirks. And if someone scares them, and then Deku's last name 
basically would be Star, and they're like, Star, that's a weird name. Now, I think Nezu would know the Star Clan. The Star Clan in this aren't going to be heroes, and they're not going to be villains. They're whatever people want them to be, depending on how much they pay them. They're basically mercenaries, and he hears Star. And he would think all the people in the Star Clan would have been dead. Well, he's here, they just started disappearing or all died. Now, he'd quickly look this up. He's like, this is Midoriya. And it'd come up in this file that, like, where he lives, he is an orphan, was orphaned at a couple months, like, probably like six months. So they're like, hmm. So this is when he's thinking maybe he could be the last one or very one of the very few that are left. But we skip to when the zero pointer comes. Now, Deku thinks he'd be able to take that thing down if he had weapons, but he doesn't have weapons, and his physical strength may be able to help him, but he's not going to risk it. But what he does is he runs past Ida to or Oraka, grabs the rubble off of her, and runs back. Now, his strength, like I said, is superhuman. Now, the strongest men in the world can lift things that are over 300 pounds and even 400 pounds. But they, like, that was just like, each one was like one hand because of, uh, what's it called? Because of the way they had to hold it is basically a metal circle put into these weights which weren't even weights they were rocks and i believe scotland they were called the uh, uh damn what was it called ba basically uh you had to use these rocks in scotland like if you can even lift them they allow you to uh they put your name in the record book for those which they're really heavy you may think oh it's easy because the way it looks no 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 it's heavy it's really heavy because you can you only you can only lift it with one hand that's why they have those little hooks on them but you know one guy one of the four four yeah one of the four strongest men when he was lifting it his hand like basically had to stop because his hand started bleeding because of how heavy it was and he was trying to continue but he started bleeding but yeah but, basically, Deku would grab a very very big piece of rubble, as, with weapon training, he would realize, you know, the only bad thing with using a weapon is grip. Because, like, there's different conditions, and he needs to focus on grip, because grip will also help him when, like, if he needs to hold someone down, he can use his grip to, basically hurt them, but Grip also made it easier for him to hold onto his weapon so it won't slip out of his hands. And he'd be very good at climbing, I'd say. So Grip would also help so he can scale stuff. So he'd go over and he'd grab a massive boulder and he'd throw it. And the boulder, or like just a piece of the building that would have fallen, I call it a boulder, but the piece of cement that had fallen off the building would be at least 300 pounds. Yes, it'd be 300 pounds as he threw it, and it caused a big dent in the robot. He grabs another, about another 300 pounds. He throws it, and keeps throwing and throwing and throwing. And the distance he can throw, like, this thing is going, like, very far. Now, Deku at this point has entered what we're going to call star mode. His eyes have the little star in the pupil, where his pupils had formed into little stars. Now, basically, this is what he calls star mode, because he has seen this whenever he gets, like, really into battle, or is trying to make sure he wins. He always activates this, or it activates naturally. But it gives him a bit of boost. He thought this may be his quirk, but he's like, no, it's just a natural state. Because he's thought his quirk might have the stores, but he's like, 
it only happens when like adrenaline is pumping. So it was like, this is probably just what happens when the adrenaline pumps through his body. It's not even like an actual quirk because let's say someone who could, like Aizawa who could stop quirks, let's say there was someone else, they tried stopping Deku's quirk when he was in this mode, which they thought was his quirk, but they realized it wasn't a quirk. So it was just straight adrenaline and in this mode, it's basically like life or death situation is happening for Deku, which it could, but he was just throwing like just thing after thing and denting the robot repeatedly in the same spot. And I think it'd be enough to where it costs almost enough force to do what Deku did in canon with one roll, but he's throwing at least like 20 different like rocks at it or 20 different, you know, uh, concrete boulders. So it eventually explodes and Deku's like, that would have been a lot easier if it's weapons. And they're like, what the hell? Anyway, this video is over 40 minutes. And now I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Either way, guys, first time I've recorded in a while. I've just been taking a break. I am, you know, going to try and be healthier because I am very, very fucking fat. Like, I may not look it, but I am very heavy. I'm over 200 pounds. And I'm heavier than most of the people in my school. But a good portion of this is muscle that I have. But not a lot. A lot of it is uh, fat. And not just fat, a lot of it's water. because Well, most of it's water because 60% of the body is water. So yeah. A good way to... I don't know, like, at first I'm going to think it's easy because, you know, I'm going to lose uh, water weight. Which is an actual thing, you, you lose water weight, it's probably going to be like 10 or less pounds. But you're going to lose that fast, but after that's going to be really hard. So, I'm going to start trying to eat healthier. At first, I'm going to slim down. Like, I'm going to try and slim down, at least lose like 30 pounds. So, I'd be under 100 pounds. So, I lose at least lose like 30 pounds before I start working out. Like, it's easier to gain muscle when, you, when you're already slim. It's harder to gain muscle when you're trying to slim down, but also put on weight at the same time. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be. Leave some suggestions for some what-ifs down in the comments or in my community tab post. And make sure to also go check that out, the community tab post. Uh, for any suggestions for one for all and not Mirio, not Todoroki, and not Bakugo. Those four will not get one for all. I will think of some people. Uh, I already got a couple people in mind for this, but those three are definitely not getting it. But I will leave, you know, some suggestions. Remember, what is Deku's? First name, leave some suggestions in the comments. Remember, it has to be a color because Star Clan. So, what is the color that will be his first name? Now, guys, I'll see you in the next video, whenever that will be. And hopefully, YouTube doesn't screw me over. Bye, and yeah, just bye. I'll just try to start uploading again, but hopefully, I don't get screwed over by YouTube and have to pay over. A million dollars, which all my videos that I targeted, I was, I think, over like 16 million, or it was probably like, I think it was around there, if I remember, or it might be someone else's, but it, it's a lot of money, guys. I don't feel like I'm trying to pay that off for the rest of my life. I don't even make money off of YouTube, never tried, probably never will, so I don't care about the money, but I don't feel like trying to pay for that. Because YouTube is screwing us over on purpose. Not Papa. It's only YouTube. But anyway, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Whatever series. Whether it be this one or a new one. I will be recording. And bye. Hopefully you have a good day whenever this comes out. So yeah.